Hey, I'm Dean of Mobile Syrup, and we just got in the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do a full review yet, but today we're going to be comparing its picture-taking abilities with the Pixel 5 and the iPhone 12 Pro. I just spent about half an hour taking photos with this phone and I just gotta say that on first impression I'm really liking the screen and how like like nice it feels comparison to its pre predecessor. I'm also really enjoying how durable it feels and how sturdy it, the hinge is compared to last year's model as well. And having a larger cover screen, it's great to take selfies with. Now we're just gonna head back to my place and review the photos we took. So we are now at the point where we're comparing these photos and let's get to it. Uh, I'm just going to start off with the photo of a flower we found. It was just some yellow flower in the grass, um, probably a weed if anything, but uh, we took a picture of it. I think for me, I, start, I like the Pixel 5. I think it had a, a, the most definition, the most contrasting colors. You, you can clearly make up the little parts of the flower as well. I find that the iPhone 12 Pros, it's not a bad picture, but it's a little undersaturated for my liking. And I think the greens pop more, of the, the grass pop more for the Pixel 5. I don't know what the hell Samsung was doing here. It's just an over, -satur over green, over yellow mess. It's just, it's it failed at this picture. I don't know what it was trying to do, but um, let's move on. The next photo is of a building. It's far in the distance. Um, it's The sun is setting, kind of. I think it's a nice photo for all, from all phones. But for me, the winner is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, only because the there's such a huge range. You can clearly make out the shadows uh, that are made because of the goalpost. There is, the sky is very blue. The building is clear as well. It's a clear brown building. Clouds are very white. It's just a, it's just a nice shot and I really, enjoy what it's what it did here and then when you look at the pixel 5 in comparison it's just a undersaturated gray sky everything's kind of grayed out in comparison and it's not a it's not a good shot i wouldn't want to sh shoot i wouldn't want to put this on instagram lastly the iphone 12 pro it did a good job as well this guy is very blue but i just find the rest of the picture pretty dark so the winner is the z flip 3 here next up is the picture of a graffiti bird i take pictures of this bird every review i have just so that i have something to make reference of the pixel 5 it's a little too dark here it's not a great shot in comparison to the z flip 3 and the iphone 12 pro they both did really good jobs here speaking to my photographers they prefer the iphone 12 picture because it's more, it, more balanced yeah more yeah. balanced and more leveled in comparison and the sky is bright the pictures the graffiti is bright for me i'm a little bit more of a fan of the z flip 3 here just because i find that the bird is really popping out at me it's very uh, it's probably oversaturated to be fair but i think that's kind of i like that vibrancy here just to make a note here though this is an ultra wide photo i took with all three phones and i'm gonna move on to the last picture we have and this last one is a selfie shooter. We kind of decided to get rid of the Pixel 5 in this case, just so that I could take a picture of the cover with the cover cameras of the Z Flip 3, as well as it's, its natural selfie shooter. Here, the Z Flip 3 is doing a great job. Uh, it's at least its cover shooter is. It's clear. My skin is a little brighter than I'd like, but it's I, it's really hard to tell. I also like the definition in my beard. You can also make out that same definition in my beard on the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, it's also a good shot. These selfie, these selfie shooters are getting better, or at least these selfies are getting better. The worst one here is the selfie camera on the Z Flip 3, but it's not a bad shot anyways, and I'd be happy to post all of them to Instagram. For some weird reason though, when you take a selfie shooter picture with these, these cameras here, it makes a square crop. I don't understand why. I think it's probably for people who love to post pictures on Instagram. So I think it's for me, really. But yeah, this is my camera comparison of the Z Flip 3. Um, stay tuned to Mobile Sierra for a full review the next week or two, probably less than two weeks. 
and thanks for tuning in. Where can we find you online? You can find me online at momosyrup.com and on Instagram and Twitter at the Daily Dean. Um, you can find my full review of this phone in the lesson of the week on mobilesyrup.com.